of this channel, then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You are blessed son. Stay blessed. Hello precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with him, another day to commune with him. I want us to take a short exercise and that is I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38 verses 12. It says, Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, um, please let me have your attention. I, I don't want us to... The waters have been stirred. I know that many of you through this time of intense worship, every time we spend time in His presence, just pouring out our hearts, then we know that He's ready to meet our needs. Now listen very carefully. While Pastor Nat was so marvelously ministering by the spirit i just felt strong in my heart that the first thing i should do when i come here is to do the altar call immediately listen very carefully the bible says for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved many of you outside many of you inside while you were pressing for some of you the holy spirit was ministering to you and he was telling you this is the moment when and where you win that war of destiny there are two categories of people i'm going to be calling immediately number one those who are saying apostle this is my moment i'm tired of living my life the way i want i need jesus as a matter of life and death category number two those who are saying apostle i remember making this call many months many years before now but for some reason my life seems to have gone haywire and i need restoration now i'm going to count one to five and i'm going to request any one who belongs to these groups you are going to stand right here for those in the overflows who may not have access to this place, I'd like you to move either to your screen or the front, wherever. This is the first thing we need to begin with. Listen, when it has to do with the matters of Jesus and the matters of the Spirit, this is not about Christianity, this is not about religion. It's a functional relationship with the God of the universe. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. It's not about we are a group and I'm ashamed of. No, 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 no. You have to make that decision right here, right now. I'll begin my counting. Let's honor them as they come. Do not wait for anyone to be the first. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus. One. Is this the best you can do? Run to Jesus.
Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory forever. Amen. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. Yeshua, ah. One more time from the depths of your heart. Yeshua. It says for the heart with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made even unto salvation shout this from the depth of your heart say this after me Lord Jesus tonight in this atmosphere of worship I have come to realize that I cannot help myself but I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for my sin I believe you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior as my Lord and as my King I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a recipient of eternal life. And from tonight till forever, I am a child of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, I decree and declare by the authority of scripture that their sins are forgiven. And I declare that victory is established in their lives over sin satan hell and the grave in the name of jesus christ i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit by this i declare that you'll be grounded and established in righteousness you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name we pray can we celebrate jesus now very quickly Please listen carefully. 
May I request all of you who made this call within the auditorium, I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. Can you wave your hands so that they see you? All right, so all of you in concert, those outside, I'm sure there are officials directing you. Let's honor Jesus as they go. Very quickly, they will have a word with you and then you'll be back to your seats. Ghana, let's bless Jesus for a massive... A massive harvest of souls. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's, let's just allow them for a moment. Whilst that is happening, I want you to help me once again. Please honor the angel over this house. Bishop, thank you so much and your precious wife. Truly grateful for the graciousness. Hallelujah. And I'd like us to please honor our very own Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. What a moment of worship. What a moment of worship hallelujah please be seated please be seated tonight will be one night that you will not forget in a hurry in the name of jesus christ mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight Graces are falling here tonight For the kings to be born For revival to return For the kings to arise For revival to return yeah. Ali, Ali, oh Ali, oh, Ali, oh Ali, Ali, oh Oh, 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 oh. Ali, Ali, oh. part of the song right now. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. I have overcome. Your influence is all over me. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Yeah. I am. You believe in his ability to turn lives around. There are people here right now who have come under the influence of such demonic chains. I'm about to pray whether inside or outside. Please, I want you to pick them and bring them here. I believe in the power of God and I believe in the name of Jesus the Bible says wherefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above all names that at that name every knee every knee would bow I'm going to ask you to shout that name again 
and as you shout that name of Jesus inside and outside the power that raised Christ from the dead is about to descend afresh upon Takaradi. Hallelujah. Pastor Nat is going to blow the trumpet for me while we shout that name. And when you hear that sound, the power of God will rest on everything that looks like Jericho. The Bible says now Jericho was shot. Nothing could go in and nothing could come out. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare over Ghana, over Takoradi, that everyone who has been under the influence of demonic forces that will not let you go, we come in the name of He that died and rose again. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Bring them out. Are you ready? One, two. Shout Jesus! the Lord is showing me families where people do not rise sustainably it looks like there is a horn that brings people down I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic anyone here who is a victim of this limiting spirit right now in the name of Jesus let the fire of the spirit come upon you right now right now bring them out right now in the name of Jesus Release them now! Release them now! Someone open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare my liberty, my liberty, my liberty. In this night of performance. Hallelujah. Now hear me please. The spirit of delay is about to leave. And hear me. As I pray for you, people will start running under the anointing. I want you to hold them and bring them out. I decree and declare every family and every destiny that Aparash Kotebata that has been under the influence of delay right now at the count of three shout Jesus one two three I break that chain I break that chain I break that chain I break that chain delay be broken this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen The power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the kingdom. 
Like a, a short-handed dress, poor time. Is there someone like? Please verify. Make sure. That, is there? Do we have a pastor? What I'm saying is, don't. When we make calls like this, please verify so that we don't just have people. Is in this church? I want to pray for you, my friend. seeing the name of a ministry something cathedral i don't know i know i'm seeing the word cathedral is there someone who pastors or leads a church cathedral something cathedral huh prophetic cathedral this is what i'm hearing but oh the name of the auditorium Because the Lord gave me a prophetic word that, that that church or that place is rising to a new season. That's why I wanted to prophesy. I didn't know whether it was. Do you believe this? In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. May the Lord shift you one, two, three, four, five. Five years, you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. There's someone like that five years i want to pray for you right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare for all of you who came out here by the spirit hold on please let me pray for those who i asked out before you send them back there's a reason why i asked you to bring them out hallelujah please bring two ladies now one inside one outside the power of god will come upon them they will shout loud to the hearing of everybody bring them in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit grace for you grace take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ there is a man of God here you are a prophet I'm seeing I know I prayed for people yesterday but I'm seeing oil being poured upon your head and the Lord is saying he's taking that man to a new season of the prophetic. I don't know who that is, but the, the power of God is coming upon you right now. Father, I don't know where that person is. Let a new prophetic vista be opened right now. Be opened even by the spirit of grace. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? He said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Madam, hold on please. Watch. Did I call her out? Oh, I see. When you find that woman who has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I just want to speak. Are you sure? You're married? How long? Five years. The doctor said they, they will remove my They said because they said they want to give her the mic. They want to remove your womb. Who shall say a thing and it shall come to pass? When the Lord God. You have taken all my shame. You have taken all the sorrow. You have taken all the pain. You have taken all the tears you have made. Let me yours eyes break to the king you have made. Listen, now you imagine a woman like this, ladies and gentlemen. 
after this wonderful moment of worship and then days of encounter now returns back the way she came it is an indictment on the integrity of God oh but Jesus but Jesus but Jesus madam look at me you believe in miracles lay your hand on your stomach in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare I don't care what the medical condition is in the name of Jesus according to the time of life like Eli prophesied over take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that it is over the spirit behind this barrenness be arrested now be arrested now Who is Joel? Joel, I'm hearing a name Joel. You'll be seated shortly. Joel, is there someone with that name? Joel, J-O-E. Joel, I want to pray for you. I'm, I'm sensing the healing anointing for bones I'm sensing a strong healing anointing for bones if you are unable to walk well or you are with a crutch lift it up now and walk you came here with a crutch on hey lift it up and walk we are here for you Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. So you do what you do. We need a move. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are these ones here? Did I call them? Okay, the ones who came under the anointing. Now, those of you who are out here, I want to pray for you. Hear me. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. There is someone you... I'm not sure you can hear very well with your left ear. Right now, the power of God is coming upon you. I decree and declare I don't know where that person is whether you are inside or outside the power of God is coming upon you and that left ear opens now that left ear opens now in the name of Jesus Christ all who are in front here I rebuke every spirit that spies upon your liberty for the Bible declares that we have been called out of every tribe and tongue and nation Therefore, I declare any spirit that will not let you go, leaves right now. Go, 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 go out of their lives and destinies. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I declare in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be released now. Be released now. hallelujah madam lift your hands I want to pray for you I don't know you I've never seen you but in the name of Jesus Christ are you a woman of God where oh I'm seeing a color is she she's you're a woman of God you have a church you're under a ministry I want to pray for you you are going to start having a lot of prophetic dreams and prophetic encounters even by the spirit this conference will take you to a level and a dimension beyond your imagination i stretch my hands and i pray that the god of all grace will impart you afresh in the name of jesus take that fire new season new dimension right now the name of jesus christ let it be over 
everything that impedes your prophetic insight clarity and exactitude in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen can you be seated for a minute God bless you God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ we are going to pray for the sick shortly I just want to put a word or two hallelujah In an atmosphere like this, we allow the Spirit of the Living God to help and to bless. This role, I don't know if they are ministers of the gospel, but I just saw fire just moving like this. Please let me just minister to them. I just saw fire. I stretch my hands from that this altar in the name of Jesus. Just this robe. Step into a new season. My God, that anointing is coming on a few of you. Take that grace. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman, please. I just saw fire. Let me just honor what the Lord is revealing. In the name of Jesus. For someone, you are receiving the spirit of revelation. A new dimension of insight, even into scripture. I decree and declare, may that grace and that mantle rest upon you. Let it rest upon you right now. One of the graces I believe that God is planting even in this conference is a spirit of prayer and intercession. That he will be bringing many into very superior dimensions. Help them of prophetic intercession. And already I release it. I decree and declare. I release it. May that mantle. Let fire rest upon many altars. The grace to pray, the grace to travail. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Sir, this man, come. Are you a man of God, sir? I hope you are not embarrassed. Can I pray for you? You are a man of God. I'm looking at you and I saw oil being poured upon you. And the Lord is saying it's a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare over this man. Let it be a new season for you. Let it be a new season for you. Let it be a new season for you. What do you do, sir? This man. Yes. No, this one. Yes. Are you a pastor? Lift your hands. I just saw fire resting upon you. Father, new season. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every limitation over your life and ministry, it comes under judgment right now. I lose you. Begin to manifest and excel. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Please sit down. The just shall live by faith. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38. I'm not going to do so much of teaching because I'm trusting that we'll get to pray for the sick. But I want you to be very sensitive. Very sensitive even by the Spirit. Bishop, sir, with all due respect, I'm seeing your wife climb a ladder in the Spirit. And the Lord, he's saying he's bringing her into a new level of influence. This is what I'm seeing. It is by the Spirit of God. This is the mother of the house. And ordinarily, I would have just told her privately. But the Holy Spirit says to announce it. So that when it happens, you will know. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, I stand in partnership with the angel over this house. And I decree and declare that grace for influence upon the mother of this assembly and this vision and as it is happening to her it is happening to you in the name of jesus christ new dimensions of grace even by the power of the holy spirit god is giving you access to kings and nobles access to treasures even the ones in hidden places in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god please be seated Hebrews 10 38 says now the just shall live by faith 
now the just shall live by faith the bible talks about a young virgin who had a visitation from angel gabriel called mary in luke chapter 1 and it says that when the angel came to mary announcing glad tidings she wondered what kind of salutation that was then the angel began to tell her that she had found favor with god and that she would bear a son when we get to verse 34 mary was perplexed and she said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man and then verse 35 gabriel replies that the holy ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you hallelujah by the time we get to verse 45 he said blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance of those things that were told her from the lord please keep that scripture blessed is she that believeth for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her of the lord the first thing i want you to observe from this scripture is that the foundation of her confidence and even for the performance was the speakings of god or the word of god god had told her something the second thing i want you to observe from this scripture is that just because god spoke there was no guarantee that there would be a performance you would think just because god had spoken there would automatically be a performance that scripture starts by saying her blessing is not just in the fact that God spoke but her blessing is in the fact that she believed are we together blessed is she that believed not blessed is she that heard blessed is she that believed it says for unto her the her who believed there shall be a performance so the realm of performance is not just for hearers the realm of performance is for those who go a step further even to believe for the bible says in hebrews chapter 4 when you read it says now there remained a rest for the people of god are we together now yes that they heard the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it he says today as it has always been that if you hear his voice that you harden not your heart like they did in the wilderness he says there remaineth a rest for the people of god and then he says to labor to enter that rest for he that has entered that prophetic sabbath he said he has ceased from all his works there are many believers who think that all it takes to a life of exploits and even performance is hearing God and as powerful as that is whether it comes as the prophetic speaking of God or the truth of God's word as revealed in scripture are we together now yeah that just because you heard God either from scripture or through an anointed vessel or directly by the spirit speaking to you it does not guarantee that there will be a performance as powerful as potent as the word of god is the word of god can be limited by a condition the believer or an individual creates there is a condition that an individual can create that can render the word impotent are we together now in biology basic biology would teach us that fruitfulness and procreation is a product of the seed that comes from the man is that true and then the woman the eggs the womb everything playing together it is the union that fertilization is what produces a child there is a condition biologically called barrenness is that true barrenness is the inability of the woman to be able to take in and retain seed until it becomes a baby the problem many times may not be the seed 
Jesus himself was speaking about the parable of the sower and he said the sower soweth the word. He said the seed is the word of God but it fell on four kinds of soils. Are we together? As powerful as the seed was, the Bible says when it fell on a kind of soil, it aborted the potential of that seed to produce. And out of the four soils, only one kind of soil sustained the ability to produce. And that varied 30-fold, 60-fold, and even a 100-fold. I can tell you there is a reason why prophecy continues to come upon the life of God's people by genuine servants of God. Many people continue to quote scripture and yet never see a performance in their lives. We have a case to study from the life of Mary. Blessed is she that believes, Gabriel said, for unto her there shall be a performance of those things that were told her from the Lord. The missing link for many believers, as far as their faith adventure or as far as the manifestation of the word of God is concerned, is faith. We talk a lot about faith across the body of Christ. But did you know that very few people really understand the subject of faith? Our results or lack of it is proof that we have not really understood the subject of faith. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 11 is the most concise compendium of the discussion of faith. The Bible starts by saying, verse 1, now faith is... He calls it the substance of things hoped for and then the evidence of things not seen. Verse 2 says, for by it, the it being the faith, the elders obtained a good report. Verse 3 says, through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. Are we together? So that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. And then it begins to list by faith abel offered this by faith this happened by faith they received then the bible says time will fail me to talk of jephthah and barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shut the mouths of lions he said women who received their death back to life all by faith that means if your Christian adventure does not capture a performance of the word, the problem is not the potency of the word. The problem is not the integrity of God. The problem is faith. So please, I want you to listen for a few minutes because I'm going to pray for the sick. And I want us to really understand this subject of faith. Hallelujah. Four times in scripture, the Bible tells us the just shall live by faith. Four times. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Romans chapter 1 and verse 17. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 11. And then Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38. All of these scriptures attest to the fact that the just shall live by faith. In John chapter 11 and verse 40, John chapter 11 and verse 40, this was the event of the resurrection of Lazarus from the dead. John 11 and verse 40. Please, can you give it to us? Jesus said, Say I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God, that means the manifestation of the glory of God. All the possibilities that are captured in God is at the instance of your believing. But the word there does not just mean to agree. Are we together? Please look up. Faith is more than believing God. I want you to listen again. Faith is more than believing God. Faith is more than agreeing with God. You can believe God and agree with God and still not be in faith. Believing is part of the process of faith. But believing in itself is not faith. Are we together? I want you to pay attention. Please pay attention. 
the miraculous and the life of signs and wonders in this kingdom resides within the office of faith that means if you do not understand the subject of faith nor how to walk perpetually by faith there is no guarantee of victory for you because the Bible declares that this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. He never said even the word. The word of God is the basis for faith, but the active component that sponsors the victory is your faith. Are we together? There are many believers who continue to quote scripture and wish to see the glory of God manifest in their lives. But they have not thoroughly understood the subject of faith. In Acts chapter 3, let's go to Acts chapter 3 very quickly. Is God helping us? The full text is from verse 1 to 16. But because of time, we'll look at 11, 12 and 16. Please give us Acts chapter 3 from verse 11. Peter and John had healed the man at the beautiful. The Bible says, and as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the patch that is called Solomon's greatly wandering. Is that KJV okay? So it says, and when Peter saw it, he answered the people, ye men of Israel, why marvel at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? Verse 16. The Bible says, let's go to 16. And his name through faith in the name hath made this man strong whom ye see and know. Yea! The faith that is by him had given this man perfect soundness in the presence of you all. The evidence of faith is not hidden. It says that the evidence of this faith is in the presence of ye all. The subject of faith. Many believers have not come into that comprehension of the value nor the necessity of walking or living by faith what then is faith faith i'll give you two definitions very quickly number one faith in one word is obedience hmm. faith in one word is obedience beyond confession beyond agreeing Faith in one word is obedience. No matter what else you capture in your faith equation, if obedience is not there, it is not Bible faith. Are we together? Faith in one word is obedience. Let me give you another definition. Faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word I will come again faith is the name given to the action please underline the word action the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction of who God is and then the integrity of his word that means if there is no action it was never faith the name given to the action not the name given to the believing not the name given to the confessing action action of obedience is someone following now please you have to understand this so let me give you an instance if I ask this gentleman please come sir did he obey me now if he comes to me and I leave him without a blessing the problem is not his obedience. The problem is that I lack integrity. Is that true? Yes. But for as long as he obeys. Now you please go back and sit. Now if I ask you to come. Don't come. Just keep looking at me. Come. This is for you. He's watching me. He can watch me for 10 years. 
and say I do not know why this has not come to me because just because he's making contact with me now he does not disbelieve me this man believes me I want you to listen very carefully because your life and your ministry is about to change hear me God desired to visit Takoradi that is true many of you have seen it in visions but the one who acted is the one who allowed him to come in experience are we together now apostle but last year i saw in a vision that you were coming to this city you are right it would have remained a vision except that someone moved beyond believing is someone learning now now listen carefully there are two qualities of God. Listen carefully. The potency of faith is based on two biblical attributes of God. I'll give it to you very quickly in summary. Number one, the first attribute of God upon which Bible faith stands on is his integrity. Write the word integrity. The word integrity comes from the word integer. It means same within as without. Are we together integrity if God were not a God of integrity then there would be no need for faith integrity numbers chapter 23 and verse 19 the Bible says God is not a man please listen carefully God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent had he said and shall he not do it had he spoken and shall he not make it good that means before God speaks he verifies whether he has the ability to make what he says come to pass so everything God says he has already checked that he can make it happen that is integrity there are many people who speak it is after they have spoken then they find out ah I made an expensive statement I do not have the ability to make it happen but the character of God is such that he only says what his ability can sponsor it's called integrity are we together Genesis chapter 21 and verse 1 the Bible says and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken If I tell all of you that by tomorrow morning, every one of you here looking at me, come and collect a brand new SUV, you will say, Amen. Do you know why? You love me, but you will weigh me relative to the size of that breakthrough. To buy an SUV for everyone here, inside and outside? No, Apostle. That one is an institution that can sponsor that kind of thing not even the manufacturers of the car can easily give out gifts like that so you see that i may be sincere but i do not have integrity hear me you cannot act obeying god until you are sure that the one who is behind the scene is not a scammer so when he tells you walk on water let me tell you this there are no guarantees in life every champion you see had to walk on water trusting god the other side of the miracle is what looks so spectacular but obedience is not convenient if it be thou bid me come and he said come what if he fell hallelujah while we flew into your lovely city and region I just looked at the water looked at the rivers and all of that and I said my God look at this and all of us as men of God as we are we are the mercy of the pilots we didn't even have an opportunity to verify and say show me your certificates there are too many destinies that depend on me we sat down with joy and comfort and confidence knowing that we would arrive are we together 
there is something about the integrity of God that must come for you as a revelation. It will sponsor courage and confidence. You will take daring steps, many that do not make sense, and you will keep moving from one dimension of kingdom exploit even to another. We live in a world, unfortunately, that is obsessed about guarantees. Men of God, uh, give me a guarantee that you will be my financial partner. God told me to build a large church, but um, I don't want any shame. Can you please be my financier? No. His integrity. God is not a man that he should lie. That means men do not just lie because they are evil. They lie because they are men. A lie means something that is untrue or something you cannot defend. Hallelujah. I can tell you, see me in the morning. And something comes up and I am unable to see you. I am not bad, but I still lied. Because I left you with a promise that I would see you. So when God says, this is your season of performance. Before you say amen, verify who is speaking. God left us the word of God as a manifesto of his integrity. So that we will vet him thoroughly. You are not the first to be lifted. Read your Bible. What of Esther? What of Gideon? It says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. These were ordinary men. Are we together? Number two. The second attribute of God upon which Bible faith stands on is his ability. The ability of God is powerful. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 says, Now unto him who is able to do. Ah, there are those who are able to say. But this one is not only able to say alone. He is able to do. Now unto him, the him being the God of the universe, who is able to do. Everybody say able to do. Let your challenges hear it. Able to do means able to change, able to lift, able to honor, able to open doors. Ability. Hallelujah. God is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. In fact, here's one scripture you may want to write down. Jeremiah 32 and verse 17. It says, Our Lord God, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, not by thy great explanation. God does not make by stories. He makes by power. Anything he makes, he makes by ability. Like he's making your destiny now. Like he's turning your life around now. Like he's giving you a new song now says you put a new song in my mouth a song of praise unto my God many will see it and fear and put their trust in him please sit down Bible faith is built on these two foundations number one God's integrity number two God's ability let's do a one minute rehearsal number one integrity number two every time you are tempted to doubt God remember the one who spoke to me is a God of integrity. But there are many people who have integrity but do not have ability. Is someone listening to me? I can desire for a sick body to be healed. I love that person. I'm sincere. But do I have the ability? I may want to lift this beautiful pulpit. The desire is there. Perhaps it is resting on someone's feet. And I want to lift it and ease that burden. I'm well-meaning, but do I have the ability? This God you see has integrity and ability. Because you see, the journey of your spiritual adventure will demand that you trust him 
even when you cannot see him even when you cannot understand him and you see the character of mountains is that they manipulate your imagination they look so high and big they force God to look small in your eyes but now oh Lord I see my wrong heal my heart and show yourself strong and in my heart and with my song oh Lord be man not magnified on your throne magnified in my life Guess what the song says I have made you it's a confession not a special number oh Lord such sin against him forgive me and I have believed in a lie that you are unable to help me but now oh Lord I see my wrong Heal my heart and show yourself strong And in my heart and with my song Oh Lord, be magnified Oh Lord, be magnified Please sit down for someone God is telling you this is the sermon you have been waiting for because every year has been looking like the other year in spite of what God is saying because you have not understood that the one speaking see listen we are used to people betraying us we are used to people saying things they cannot defend with all due respect whether they be business people politicians and all kinds of people they can say all kinds of things and not do it so we are used to people saying what they cannot do i introduce to you this god for i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is to be Listen, I remember many years ago, before I would start out, nobody knew Joshua Selma, nobody knew anything. But I know that I had a word from God. I had, I had many visions, I had many things written. I have found where it was written concerning me in scripture but whether it will come to pass or not depended on my believing God I remember the very first crusade we had we were owing didn't have enough money to do anything we went by faith can you imagine that the people you are owing are there listening to you while you are preaching and saying this God of power this this and that we sang and now the, the part that was very disturbing was that there were miracles happening and yet the sound people were there and then a few other people the accommodation that we used even when you don't trust yourself trust him even when you cannot trust your ability are we together now yes it was such it was such a challenging time for me how do you preach with power and miracles where is the God that can open the eyes of the blind unstop the deaf ear and cannot bring this amount to settle sound people in peace I didn't know that it was in the school of the spirit God was teaching me something about his character let me tell you something there is a dimension of pain that is not evil there is a pain factor that is a gift to your spiritual experience i hope you believe what i'm telling you 
when David stood before Goliath he drew from the archives of his victory past and said the God who delivered the lion and the bear if he never confronted them and stood before Goliath he would not have anything some of you are here today because of the gift of the challenge that brought you here if you did not have anything there are certain sermons you cannot understand about God until you walk through the valley of the shadow of death the psalmist say yay Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, not because I am out already. He says, because thou art with me. Listen carefully, because many of you are about to take very strong faith adventures. There are some of you, you are the first who will rise and wipe the tears of not only your family, but your lineage. And you are wondering like Mary, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. Apostle, how shall these things be? I don't have a job. I didn't have the privilege to go to school. I am a man of God. Is it true that God can lift me? Can ministry work for me? Listen carefully. God's integrity and God's ability carry this as a revelation tonight I believe him but more than believing him I listen listen please look up if you believe in the one who is just above the clouds you will not get anything there are exact things you have to believe about God you are too faithful to lie do you know when the Bible says God is not a man that he should lie? Do you know what that means? If God calls this a chair, this has to become a chair. When the Bible says God cannot lie, it's more than God does not lie. He's not tempted with lying. His creative power insists that he's always right. So if God looks at you, and says you are a millionaire listen <laughs> the implication of that statement is that his power will never rest until it forces you to look like what he says are we together blessed is she that believes unto her not unto them unto the individual who believes there shall be a performance of those things which were spoken to her by the one who has integrity and the one who has ability i'll share with you one testimony and then we'll begin to pray 2009 2010 please sit thank you At that time, most ministries largely, you know, generated the income that would run the ministry among other things, largely from media ministry, sales of CDs, you know, and all of that. And then the Lord gave me a revelation and he spoke to me. He said, now that's just a personal word there. He said, for you, I'm not going to allow you to sell anything, but what will happen is that you put your teaching let it be put for you on the internet and my angel will go with it to the ends of the earth it didn't make sense till today i'm not on social media sit down please are we together now now listen carefully i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but i'm saying that simple act of supposed foolishness the one who has integrity and has ability spoke it was up to me to sit down and say God don't make a fool of me I fasted and prayed but that one instruction in obedience the angel of his presence took those teachings from nation to nation from region to region and the rest to God be the glory. 
I remember the first time I stood before a dead body. The person had died and they were looking for me to come and raise the body back to life. It was, it was an anatomy department and then the mortuary attached to it. I entered inside and there were several dead bodies. I was wondering which one am I going to raise? And when I stood before the dead body I was to raise, it was looking like a stone. I laid hands and I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I call forth life to you. Come back. Absolutely nothing happened. I prayed again in the name of Jesus the second time. Nothing happened. I prayed the third time. Nothing happened. And I said, listen, I've, I've done my best. I've given my, my best. I just used the time to start reflecting on my own life. At least so that I don't waste that time there. No movement, no nothing. And yet I believed that in my lifetime and in ministry, many dead bodies will come back. Look at me. If you are waiting for it to work in your life first to believe God, it will never work. Way before the evidence manifests in your life, your faith has to be on the integrity and the ability of God. Are we together? I do not have anything in my pocket, but I believe. He said, I am blessed, and so I believe I am blessed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Now, very quickly, let me tie up a very powerful principle. Many people agree with God, but they do not know how to manifest Bible faith. Can I quickly run through a few keys that will spell that faith equation for you? Number one, Bible faith starts with revelation. Revelation of God's promises. You have to understand what God has said. What are his commitments to you? This is one of the assignments of scripture to help you know what God has said about you. Are we together? You may have heard me teach that scripture defines the boundary and the jurisdiction of God's commitment to the saints. That means God cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provision that scripture allows. He is almighty. He is great. But he is bound by his word and has chosen to exalt that word even above his name. That means if you cannot find his promises, there is no basis. Even if you hear a vision or see a vision or hear a word until you find a scriptural parallel to it, there is no basis for God's commitment. Now, this is where a lot of believers get into trouble. They say, I heard God, and they begin to move with all kinds of blind visions without scriptural confirmations. The word of God and scripture is the ultimate that confirms every other experience, no matter how visionary it is. So if you tell me, I'm going to excel in ministry, and I ask you why, you say, because I had an angelic encounter. You may be right, but I know you are going to suffer as if it's not God that revealed himself to you. Because until you find where it is written, Jesus the word did not come to Satan and say, remember I am the word. He said, it is written. It is written is greater than I saw. It is written is greater than I heard. It is great, written is greater than they told me. Scripture is a foundation for Bible faith. If he has said it, then he will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. And you're not about to stop to it down. If he has said it, then he will do it. What has he said concerning you? There are many things he has said concerning you. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. To do and observe all these things that I command you. That the Lord himself will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. The integrity of God has spoken. 
when men say there is a casting down he says for you there will be that there is a lifting up the word of god please sit down let me remind you of many things that he said concerning you he said your path is as a shining light that shines even brighter and brighter unto the perfect day do you believe that it is written in your bible that though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death that you would not fear evil why because he's with you his rod and staff he said thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table for me even in the presence of my enemies anointing my head with oil and my cup runneth over that is what he has said do you believe that Genesis chapter 17 from verse 6 and 7. He says, and I will make you exceeding fruitful. Is that true? Yes. And I will make nations of thee. He says, and kings shall come out of thee. So as a man of God, I do not expect to lead ordinary people. There is a covenant of influence that is upon my life based on scripture. No biases, no prejudices. Is someone listening now? Listen. I want you to come back to scripture and thank God for all the visions. Thank God for the prophetic. But if you are depending on these elements outside of what is written, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you will never truly be able to walk Bible faith. The prophetic is only valuable to the degree to which it lines up with what is written. Visionary experiences are only valuable to the degree to which they line up with what is written. If I call you out by word of knowledge or by prophecy and I speak to you, except if I stamp my experiences with that which is written, there is no guarantee that it will come to pass. Forever, O oh Lord, he says, thy word is settled. Even for visions, we see in part and we prophesy in part. Is someone learning now? Takoradi, let me tell you this. If you want to see the hand of God upon your life in unusual dimensions, I want you to return back to the place of a healthy appreciation of this that is written. Any extra biblical practice that makes you ignore the word of God is only delving you into superstition. Let me repeat myself. Any extra biblical practice, no matter how spiritual, if it does not find its basis in scripture and if it does not work consistent with that which is written will only waste your christian experience someone shout it is written one more time say it is written it is written concerning me that i will be the head and not the tail it is written concerning me that i will be above and not beneath is it in your bible it is written concerning me that i arise and shine for my light is come it is written concerning me that the glory of the lord has risen concerning me it says gentiles will come to my light and even their arrogant kings to the brightness of my rising that for my shame i will receive double where men have deserted me and would not pass through me that i become an eternal excellency and even a joy of many generations it is written concerning me that i and the children that the lord had given to me we are for signs and for wonders in israel it is written concerning me that food alone does not sponsor the quality of life that I'm looking for. That I live by bread and by the word. So I will be foolish to eat bread alone. Knowing that the Bible has told me. Listen. For someone, this is your sermon tonight. Get back to the Bible. Get back to the Bible. More than we men of God, get back to scripture. Hear me. We are only as powerful as the scripture we stand on. We are not powerful. The Bible says our sufficiency is not of ourselves. Are we, to, are we together? Hmm. That sufficiency is of God who has made us able ministers of the New Testament or covenant. Not after the letter but the spirit. For the letter killeth. It is the spirit that gives life. I believe. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all, not some, all that is written therein. Then it says, thou shalt make your way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. I believe it. The Bible tells me that he spake a parable, Luke 18 and verse 1, to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Seeing that I am a man, I must pray. Prayer now does not just become a spiritual routine. It is a matter of life and death to me. 
first thessalonians 5 17 says to pray without season is that true james 5 and verse 13 gives me the biblical recommendation for affliction is any man afflicted he says let him pray so every time i see an affliction around my vicinity whether i understand it or not the biblical recommendation is to pray and he said elijah was a man of like passion as we are but he prayed earnestly so prayer can open and unlock the heavens the bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty so if i withhold i should not be surprised when i am poor the bible says a diligent hand shall be made fat is that true and that he that waters shall be himself watered let's return back to scripture if you surround your life with anything aside from scripture you cannot manifest bible faith the bible tells me in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says to be anxious for nothing so i know immediately that anxiety is not of god be anxious for nothing he says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says to let my request be made known and then he says the god of peace shall garrison protect my heart and then verse 8 he says finally brethren whatsoever things are true pure noble honest whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things so i know that my mindset has a lot to do with my destiny i will not train my spirit and ignore my mindset jeremiah chapter one please sit down i hope i'm not wasting your time jeremiah chapter one he came to him and said right from when you were in your mother's womb before thou camest forth out of the womb i called you and ordained you is that true to be a prophet to the nations and jeremiah cried and said ah for i am a child and he said say not that i am a child but wherever i send you to thou shalt go and to whoever i send you say whatever i ask you to say and then then he says what seest thou that means now that I've given you a prophetic word, I need to work on your perception. What do you see from what I have said? The performance is not based on what I have said. The performance is your perception of what I have said. He said, I see the rod of an almond tree. Then he says, you have seen correctly. Verse 12, 1 verse 12 of Jeremiah says, for i will hasten my word to perform it amplified says for i am alert and active watching over my word to perform it faith is not an issue of bold face it is the richness of the word that dwells within you is that true I understand that territorial revival does not just depend on God and the spirit of revival but also willing men who can pray that I sought for a man to stand in the gap that I may not destroy it so I don't sit down and fold my arms and say God come uh -uh. it is the spirit and the bride together that tells the world to come that means if the spirit alone is saying Takoradi be revived Takoradi will not be revived the bride who is the vessel must also agree with the spirit if the spirit says be healed the bride must say be healed for healing to come if the spirit says be lifted the bride must say be lifted john said i am the voice i am not the word but i'm the one who gives echo the voice hear me please brothers and sisters let us return back men of god more than just sitting to listen to messages of one another and preaching which is profitable let us go back and open this scripture with childlike faith and begin a genuine spiritual adventure so we do not make a mess of ourselves and our territories i found your word and i did eat it he says and it was a joy and a rejoicing to me hallelujah lack of the balance and the structure of scripture in the life of a believer is what delves us into all kinds of error and imbalance the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and even the doctrine of demons 
but he says that from a child thou has known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise to salvation Acts chapter 20 I believe is verse 32 he says and now brethren I commend you unto God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance even among them that are sanctified Psalms 82 from verse 5 to 7 they know not he says neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says I have said ye are God and all of you how many all of you are children of the most high he says but you shall fall like men men and you shall die like men men and fall like one of the princes let the redeemed of the Lord say so so my confession determines when I find what God has said I will say it I am blessed I am healed in the name of Jesus Bible faith starts with your respect and your honor to scripture let me let me tell you this any aspect of your life that is not yet working I give you an assignment tonight go on a faith scripture adventure find relevant scriptures that talk about you are not the first to go through what you are going through the bible says the thing that was is the thing that is you are not the first to want growth you are not the first to want increase you are not the first to suffer barrenness man of god you are not the first to look for a land for a church building the things that are written are for time Apostle, you don't know what is happening in Ghana and Africa. The economy seems to be shaking up and down. You are not the first. An idol worshiper in awe of the Chaldeans called Abraham was called out from that background of idolatry and was made a global representation of the blessing of the Lord. Isaiah 51 from verse 2. Look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that bare thee. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Understudy his life. It says if you are the children of Abraham, you will do the works of Abraham not the talks of Abraham be restored to scripture man of God without the Bible we are only wasting the time of God's people more than stories more than examples more than prophecies and miracles let them come under the Word of God the degree to which we exalt and promote the integrity of scripture is the degree to which we can predictably be a blessing to people. Is that true? For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. If I ask you now to lift your Bible, let me pray on it. You may not really enjoy what I'm saying. You say, what is that? But if I say lift your document. Now, I'm not being sarcastic. Or lift something. Very quickly you will lift it. And drop that Bible there. Does it look to you like the story that was in 2 Kings chapter 4? There was a woman who left her greatest blessing in the room and was crying she was in debt and what could save her was right there and when she was complaining to the prophet the oil was hearing i'm sure if the, if the oil had the opportunity to speak you say don't disrespect me i am not small it is the limitation of your understanding the same way your bible keeps looking at you in the room while you are going through all kinds of things and satan continues to hope that it will remain closed can i tell you the Bible says, I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scrolls there. And then the elder tapped me and said, weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah. Even the root of David has prevailed that he is worthy to open the book. Weeping always continues until the book is opened. For as long as you do not have the courage and the determination to open the book. Hallelujah. Every time God is sending me to Egypt, I have a right to ask him who will stand, who will I tell Pharaoh has sent me. And God never sends people alone based on scripture. He will always send you with a rod. A rod determines what happens to the Red Sea, not just God. So because I have that understanding, 
when God sends me as a man of God, I don't just get up and start running. What is the rod you have put in my hand? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I obtain grace to return back to that which is written. Say in the name of Jesus. More than miracles, more than prophecies, more than signs and wonders. I declare restoration of my passion for scripture. John chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. So scripture starts with faith. Bible faith starts with the revelation of scripture. You have that point down? The next point is meditation. This is something most believers do not understand. Meditation. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein. Meditate therein. Meditate therein. Meditate therein. To meditate means to ponder deeply onto the spirit of that story, the spirit of that parable, the spirit of the letter enters you. The purpose of, of meditation is for you to access the spirit component because in James chapter 2 and verse 26, James was speaking and he said for us, faith with this, a body without a spirit is dead. That means if you are just reading the letter, you are just reading something that was printed by Zondervan or White Taker House, it will not do you much. It is meditation that draws out the spirit behind the story. Otherwise, you would just read a parable, read something. Do you know if you read the Bible just intellectually alone, you will end up finding a book that has a lot of confusing statements, conflicting statements, and at the end, you will just drop it. Meditation is where you allow the breath of the Spirit to rest upon you. Someone say meditation. I'm showing you the formula that translates to genuine Bible faith before we pray. Meditation is very powerful. In Psalms 119 verse 97. Psalms 119 verse 97. Psalms 109 from verse 97. It says, Oh how I love thy law. It is my meditation. How long? Do you know? You can read a scripture and because you are meditating on it so much, you can be taking a shower when the light comes. And God just brings that rhema word even through the things you have studied. Meditation is powerful. Even non-believers understand this. Is that true? People have tapped into superhuman abilities through the art of meditation. To meditate means to ponder deeply and to contemplate until the spirit of that truth is released into you. Number three, the third faith equation is prayer. Hmm. Most people do not know that prayer is part of the dynamics of producing Bible faith. Mark chapter 11 and verse 24. Jesus rebuked a tree and it withered and the disciples came wondering, wow, you did this and it happened. And Jesus made a very interesting statement in 11 and 24 of Mark. He says, therefore I say unto you, are we still together? What things soever ye desire. Now you can fill in the blank. What things soever ye desire. He says, when ye pray. Is that in your Bible? Believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. That means if prayer is not captured in your faith equation, you are not working with Bible faith. Prayer prayer Isaiah 41 and verse 21 very powerful and popular scripture 41 21 Isaiah it says produce your cause saith the Lord bring forth your strong reasons don't assume I know what you need when he met the man blind Bartimaeus, on his way to Jericho he said what would I do for you that sounded like a sarcastic statement you see a blind man who is calling upon you and you are asking him what he wants God gave man a will and it is unscriptural, unscriptural for God to usurp the will of man. So he says that um, 
be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says let your request be made known don't assume he knows it prayer prayer is very very powerful the next is call your confession of faith very simple but powerful faith dynamic there is a place of speaking in manifesting Bible faith two scriptures Psalms 107 and verse 2 Psalms 107 and verse 2 Psalms 107 it says let the redeemed of the Lord say so let the blessed of the Lord let the lifted in Takoradi say so let the anointed of the Lord let the prosperous of the Lord more than think so you must say so comes from the word homologio that means repeat as you have heard I prophesied as I was commanded I was already commanded but did you notice in Ezekiel 37 that the bones did not move at the confession of the spirit it was when the human vessel spoke that there was a sound he already told him what to say but the bones did not do anything but when he prophesied as he was commanded so when God says you are blessed nothing happens until you agree with him and say it's true I am blessed lifted above situations and circumstances someone while you are sitting declare in one minute I am blessed everything you know declare it upon yourself by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare that my path is as a shining light I shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus Christ ministry is flourishing the Bible says they that be planted in the house of the Lord that they shall flourish in the courts of our God even in old age they shall be fat and flourishing hallelujah let me give just two left for sake of time the next point is very important that is what really seals the faith equation is called your action of obedience notice the progression I'm giving you revelation of scripture then meditation then prayer are we together then confession of that which is spoken and then action of obedience this is powerful Write for reference, Luke chapter 17 from 11 to 14. I may not read it, but just write for reference. Luke 17, 11 to 14. This was the story of the 10 lepers. Remember the Bible says Jesus was passing, is that true? And he saw 10 lepers. And then when he saw the lepers, they beckoned on him to help and heal them. And he told them to stand up and go and show themselves to the priest. How many of you know that was a risk? Especially in ancient time as they went they noticed that they were cleansed of their leprosy is that true action of obedience he told them stand up and go in john chapter 2 the wedding in cana the first 11 verses when you read the bible says there was a wedding in cana and the wine finished when the wine finished an embarrassment was imminent and then a few people spotted jesus in the crowd and they came and met the mother to lobby for them finally they got to see him and jesus said what would you have me do for you and they said look wine is finished and he said fill six pots with water and when they did he said you fetch it and start going do you know that it's like coming to serve your man of god that you so love and honor and then carrying kerosene and believing it to turn to water say for instance you will not only be disciplined you may go to jail is that true now he told them fetch the water imagine them going shaking but obeying ah. and then water he turned into wine he opened the eyes of the blind there's no one turn water to wine he can turn poverty to prosperity it's the same miracle if he turn water to wine he can turn an F student to an A student if he turn water to wine he can turn an irresponsible man 
to become such an admirable father please sit down to turn a thing according to chemistry is to alter the chemical configuration so that it becomes something else sometimes irreversible that means God can look deep through a man and find out what do I need to change to make Saul become Paul the word of God is that quick and powerful it's able to penetrate even to the is someone listening so if I come and I'm limping and I cannot walk well if God turned the water to wine are we together yes there are many people who have turned things to several things you have turned cocoa in Ghana to many things is that true and if we have the privilege of going to the factory we are going to see chemists and all kinds of people they know what to add sometimes they subject it under pressure sometimes they add a lot of other reagents to react something changes so don't be surprised if the version of you that came is not the version that leaves don't be surprised if the unanointed you that came is no longer the one who goes if they ask you and say how did it happen sing this song for them that our god is able to turn water to wine poverty to prosperity shame even to glory like pastor nat said you need to look at our lives too look at my own life if you do not believe god can change people or if you've thrown your bible let me be the continuation of the scripture you were reading that god is able to lift a man he is the lifter of men i will hold on to your word and i will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal that you are the lifter of men the lifter of men i will hold on to the storms and i will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men the lifter of men he's a lifter of men lifter of men you're the lifter of men lifter of men you're the lifter of men please hold on through the storm that's my word for you will you hold on to his word for your story is about to change by the lifter of men i'm not singing i'm prophesying to you please hold on to the storm i know you have cried and cried just hold on to his word your life will soon reveal he's a lifter of men of men that by this time next year by the time you come for this conference someone will stand here and say i was outside 2022 i was outside look what the lifter of men has done to my ministry look what the lifter of look what the lifter of men has done to my family he took me from ghana and shot me like an arrow to the ends of the earth Let me sing it one more time even if this is where we close don't sing just listen the lord is speaking to you will you hold on through the storms will you hold on to my word barren but hold his word nobody is placing a demand on your grace man of god but hold his word don't go around faking things and say ministry must work. Uh -uh. I will hold on to your word. 
Yes, I will hold on to your word. My story is about to change by the lifter of men. Lifter of men. One more time. I will hold on through the storm. And I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men. Lifter of men. Please listen to me. We're wrapping up. Hear me. Every giant of faith you see had to find out, Lord, what would you demand me to do? Obedience is useless until there is first an instruction. Are we together? I will send him to your medical team because this is madness. But if I say come, now it is obedience. Just taking action is not obedience. You must take action in the direction of what is demanded. Is someone following now? Many of you have been taking action. You can take action in the wrong direction. While we're coming yesterday, Bishop was just showing me some of the routes that connect to Takoradi coming here. And I said, wow, amazing how the roads, you know, showed me the beautiful hospital, your regional hospital. And he was showing me these things. Because you can fire on four, all four cylinders in the wrong direction. It is action, but in disobedience. So for instance, for someone here, if God tells you, that the key to a rich spiritual life is to get back to the ministry of prayer if you keep saying i'm going i'm going and you don't do it you have not taken action but if after this conference you go back and dust your prayer closet and say lord i'm here with you again now this is an action of obedience you begin to pray one week becoming one month one month becoming a quarter of a year and then one night you will encounter his majesty and he will deposit something upon your life that the entire globe will come to terms with it is true pastor nat sang a beautiful song one of his songs says i am waiting such a powerful song to wait upon the lord means to wait it doesn't just mean to fast it means to sit down It was waiting that qualified Mary to be the first evangelist who saw the resurrected Christ. All the disciples came and they were in a hurry. They went and they did not see. But a woman stayed and said, I'm not going. She kept looking. And as she kept looking, she saw a man. And she said, Rabboni, there is power in waiting. When you wait, you will see things that those who are in a hurry do not see. For someone, this may be a message for you. You are too in a hurry. God gives speed, but he does not rush people. You are in a rush to announce yourself. I am a prophet. You are in a rush. I am an apostle. You are in a rush. I must build a church for someone. You came for this meeting tonight for this one word. Wait. The secret to speed in the kingdom is in that one word. Wait. We run in this kingdom when we wait. The key to speed, I repeat, is waiting. Jesus waited when the disciples went six hours ahead of him. And when he got up from that waiting, he started walking on water and caught up with them. For someone, if you can wait from now to the next two months, you will run faster than you've run ten years. But if you keep going around with invitation cards, please invite me, do this, do this. You may end up embarrassing yourself. Let's stop here there are two more but i want to pray for you maybe i should just point the two more the next is thanksgiving 
the second to the last faith equation is thanksgiving be anxious for not in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving please sit thanksgiving 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 is an act of faith you tell him thank you even in advance i give you thanks i give you thanks colossians chapter 3 and verse 5 it ends up that state 3 and verse 15 colossians 3 15 it says and be ye thankful the last sentence and be ye thankful that the peace of god that is in your heart to the which ye are called in one body and be ye thankful someone say thank you jesus one more time say thank you jesus this is the biblical cure for complaining biblical cure for not seeing the faithfulness of god thank you jesus thank you thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit help your work on earth is done you get up in the morning and say thank you jesus and the devil will say for what from january till now all that as you have court cases you are not able to get a job your wife cannot even take in and you say thank you jesus ah. thank you jesus thank you jesus someone say it and then the last that i will give you tonight is patience the final key that connects you hebrews chapter 10 and verse 36 the bible says ye have need of patience is a need patience is a need for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of god ye might receive the promise so after you have done the will of god there are times you have done all these and it still does not look like it is coming the bible tells you after you have done the will of god practice patience patience what are you doing lord i'm waiting upon you as a child looks up to his mother and father i am still waiting but it is two years i thought you said god told you that you are going to be such a great man of god i have done everything and continue to do what it makes for greatness can i tell you there is something in every man's life called the season of appearing the bible says john remained in the wilderness there are times that all is in place it is just not yet your season do you believe what i'm telling you it is not your season and you will find out that you've done everything question what was left that jesus did not do was it study of the word was it prayer but he needed to get to age 30. are we together and when he got there something miraculous happened to him and he just turned his life turned around and they began to announce his good deeds everywhere listen ladies and gentlemen this is a night that i pray you do not forget more than the manifestation i want you to remember the things we spoke about the integrity of god and his ability and for someone here as we pray you have done everything you know to do and everything you did was right the last thing you need to do is patience can we pray please stand on your feet glad we already did the altar call i want you to pray just two prayer points for tonight prayer point number one father grant me the grace to walk by faith and to command fearful dimensions of exploits even in these end times lift your voice and pray grant me the grace to walk by faith someone is prophesying the grace to walk by faith and to command fearful dimensions of exploits you want a performance in your life 
it has to be at the instance of faith outside pray online pray within the auditorium pray grant me the grace to walk by faith grant me the grace to walk by faith nothing wavering believe in god like faithful abraham did knowing that he is able to bring to pass that which is spoken concerning me hallelujah the last prayer point father i receive grace to obey you completely complete obedience lift your voice and pray the grace for complete obedience that which you demand of me and from me, I obtain grace to live by it. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have about five or so minutes from what I see. I want you to lay your hands. You're trusting God for a miracle of time we may not have the time to take testimonies but i want to pray for you in other sessions or even in the church here you can come and testify but there are just two things i want to do and then we are done for tonight i want to pray and speak over the sick and then there is a reason why i brought this once i pray for the sick i'm going to plead in one minute for your man of God and his wife we are going to hold this as a prophetic point of contact and just speak in one minute over Takoradi and over Ghana we will declare that the two lit gates of this territory be open to the glory and the name of the Lord lay your hands now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare for everyone here who is sick everyone plagued with any kind of infirmity in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and i declare be healed now blood conditions be healed now all kinds of demonic oppressions that are health related i proclaim your liberty now in the name of jesus christ I prophesy over your life that in the name of Jesus Christ everything that ails you every illness every weakness in your body you will leave this place completely healed right now those who are inside those who are outside following online I declare your healing right now in Jesus name I pray amen and amen please may I request that we all stretch our hands here Man of God, can I please request you and your dear wife, Pastor Nat, please can I plead for one minute just to blow the shofar prophetically over the gates. I'm standing in agreement and we're holding this prophetically and we want to pray for Takoradi that this place will remain a place of revival. Hallelujah. And I'm going to plead with my dear brother, Pastor Nat. He's going to blow the trumpet just once. The trumpet is a mystery. It announced new seasons. Hallelujah. Even the coming of Christ, it is the trump of the archangel that will announce it. Are we together? As you hear the sound of the trumpet, I'd like you to begin to prophesy over Takoradi and over Ghana. We will never lack men and women of God. We will never lack apostles and prophets. In the name of Jesus, falsehood will never eat up the church. We declare that fresh people, generals are rising. Go ahead. Go ahead. Someone is praying. We pray over Takorani. We pray over Ghana. In the name of Jesus, Maranatha. Let revival come. In the name of Jesus, let breakthrough come. Let prosperity come. We declare the opening of the gates in the name of Jesus Christ. And from Ghana, let the fire.
fire of revival spread across Africa, spread across Europe, spread across the US, spread across Asia. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, Psalmists arise from Takorani, apostles and prophets, pastors arise from Takorani. In the name of Jesus, we stand upon the grace of Bishop and his dear wife alongside every servant of God here we decree and declare mighty men arise men of prayer arise Deborah's arise Esther's arise Samson's arise Gideon's arise in the name of Jesus Christ and in the name of Jesus hear me we speak over the spiritual border of Takoradi. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lifted everlasting doors. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, gates of failure, gates of depression, gates of backwardness, gates of sin. In the name of Jesus, the captain of the army of Israel, Rise triumphantly into your city and your region. For in the name of Jesus we pray. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we release the blessing of heaven upon you. You have received us in the name of the Lord. And therefore we declare.
Let's celebrate the goodness of the Lord. What a marvelous night. Celebrate the goodness of the Lord. What an awesome night. Wow. Apostle. It's awesome. Please be seated for a moment. The, the anointing here is too much. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.